All right, guys, I know you hate it when I do this. This is going to be very quick. This guy has a Fortnite shop, FMWorld, um, FMWorld.ATBGShop.io. It's going to be linked down below. If you guys want to buy Fortnite accounts with him, you can. Quality accounts at a good price. Okay, so he actually sells season one accounts, season two accounts. He sells a bunch of accounts, right? A lot of stuff. Like, Jesus Christ, 20 cents for one to nine skin account. He's got a 10,000 in stock. Like, he cracked Fortnite accounts. He resells them to you guys. It's all that good stuff. So, if you guys want to buy a him, you can. He'll be linked down below so you guys can go and buy of him. He does restock quite a bit. So, yeah, um, he is trusted. You guys have, I've heard some people had issues with accounts if you have issues with your accounts he has these support links right here and a twitter which he does post on quite a bit all you guys have got to do is just literally go into the show right here click this and drop him a message or just contact him on his discord server right here you guys create a ticket and then he'll reply to it and if you have an issue with your account he'll replace it if it no longer works and yeah so he is trusted you guys have had issues with your account but it's because you're not securing them after buying them and it does say how to do it right here but yeah guys hope you guys enjoy the video she told me that it's all Yo guys, what is going on? It's your boy Farfetch here, back with a brand new YouTube video. Um, straight off the bat, if you guys can't tell, I actually have a new mic now, so it sounds a lot better. But yeah, I've got a new mic, I got the Blue Yeti Blackout, so yeah, I've got a new mic. Quality, my quality is now better, so that means my video quality is going to be better. So yeah, you guys will probably enjoy the videos now, like a, a lot more. But in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can increase your FPS and frames per second in Fortnite Battle Royale Season 9. Um, yeah, that's basically it. So, um, I'm just going to straight into it these are things that i have not covered in any of my other previous videos but i've done many many fps boost videos so you can scroll down on my channel and find them i'll link them all down below so if this video don't work you guys can go and just go and check the other videos out and try them all to optimize your pc further but this should help so yeah guys what i'm trying to say this video doesn't benefit you like to the potential you want it to when your frames don't they will increase for like definite if you do like, guys do this like quite a lot as well but if it doesn't like benefit you to a point that you're still satisfied playing and you may have a really bad pc or a pretty low NPC. Um, I'll let's there'll be links down below so you guys can further just get more frames basically. But yes, okay guys. So the first thing is something to do with Discord. Um, you guys have probably already done this anyway. Or if you don't use Discord when you're playing Fortnite or don't like have it open in your display tray, this is reason isn't like really an issue. But just in case you do, or if you have Discord on your PC, it's generally worth doing just in case. So yeah, a lot of you guys may know this, but I'm just gonna quickly go over it just for the people that don't. So yeah, you're gonna go to your Discord right here. So just open up your Discord. Once you're on your Discord, go to here to the settings. So just click that when you're on here You want to go down to appearance scroll down to you see this here where it says advanced Where you guys want to make sure is hardware acceleration is off um, I have it on because I use Discord a lot and my PC is pretty good So it can run the hardware acceleration and what hardware acceleration is it says right here It turns on hardware acceleration which uses your GPU to make Discord run smoother turn this off if you're experienced fit like frame drops so turn it off would would um basically increase your frames it literally says right here but if you have this on which you usually do if you download discord and haven't changed it yet it will just um basically really accelerate your pc to run discord at its best like its best so your graphics card um and it says gpu but i'm sure your process will be working harder to like um give put uh, like emit the most memory over to discord but yeah your gpu is basically going to be working a lot harder to make everything run smooth and um basically get more fps on discord which is really unneeded i have it on because i do a lot of um calls and discord server managing and i'm always going in between um discord stuff so yeah i i, I have it on you guys can turn it off if you really want for the sake i'm just gonna turn it off it says this right here you press ok and then it restarts your discord that's pretty straightforward it'll open your discord again go to settings you guys want to go back over to appearance scroll down and then it should be turned off so that's that's pretty easy um a good thing you guys can also do is this right here um if you go to overlay on the app settings uh it says here overlay and where it says enable overlay overlay sorry um what this is is you can choose where you put it but it's basically um when you get pinged in a discord server or you're in a like discord call it will show right here the the profile pictures of who you're in a call with and who's talking at a, a particular time or what it will do is just give send you messages that you get sent when you're sent particular messages or at everyone or at here pinged in a server so yeah just turn it off i have it on um because it's sometimes useful if you have a decent pc and you use discord quite a lot but if you have a bad pc <clears throat> or at least a, a, a low-end pc and you want to get squeeze the most frames into your games just turn it off and it's pretty straightforward just turn it off press um you'd have to apply it just press escape and yeah now it's turned off also a quick plug you know Ah! <sighs> 
I still have my own Discord server. So yeah, you guys enjoying that? Uh, let's let's get the link for you guys. Never, uh, no limit, generate link. Um, all right. I think it's because I have streamer mode on. I can't be asked to turn it off. But um, oh, look at that right there. There you uh, guys go. If you type that in, you guys can get to my server, or you can just simply go into the description because like the description has it in the description. Like that didn't really make sense, but it's in the description, so you guys can join my Discord server. Okay, guys. So the the next thing. Okay, so what you guys can also do is you may have to download something for this. So what you guys want to do is download this right here it's called msi afterburner you can see it right here in the display tray i'll pretty zoom in on it it's called msi afterburner so if i just press show right here this is what it looks like but i have um you can change what it looks like right here you can see my gpu here g4 gtx 1050 ti um but if i go to interface right here you guys can see i changed mine you can have it on anything um like yeah look, there's many different ones i'm not sure which one is like comes when you actually get the thing um i think it's this one uh, yeah yeah when you when you download it it'll look like this you want to go just to the settings cog and then go to user interface and change it to this one right here which i have on right now but yeah i know then it should look like this and don't worry guys i will have a download link in the description for you guys just to simply um head over to the description and download this but yeah you can find just search up msi afterburner it's a legit thing like no no virus no bullshit like that just go here msi afterburner and the download should be somewhere here yeah right at the bottom the downloads are here so yeah so you can get an app for android holy shit um yeah what you're gonna want to get is this one here msi afterburner and just press download this will be linked down below so you guys can easily navigate to it so yeah takes two seconds to download once it's downloaded just simply open it out install it and you have this right here so what this is doing it's overclocking overclocking your graphics card and i know overclocking sounds scary right overclock you probably heard people say oh if you overclock your graphics card will explode or your pc will just be in danger overclocking can be dangerous in some like ways but it also can't be dangerous because this application in particular if you do things right um you're not gonna have any issues and if you just follow this video what it's gonna do is obviously optimize your graphics card and overclock it to make it overperform than it usually does which is not really overperforming it's performing to its best ability because when you get um graphics card they really like they limit how good of the gra or how much of the graphics card you can use and they limit how how like they limit all the stuff like the memory clock and the core clock they limit that they limit limit you on your graphics card for like pc safety regulations and certain things in your pc it's just it's a lot of bullshit you don't need to really listen to it and you just need to go full send all right and no this ain't an issue this seriously isn't an issue like it isn't gonna cause your pc to blow up trust me you know i've got it on right here i have overcome my pc just slightly not my processor that's the longest like method you have to go into your control no um your pc's console or something like that it's like i think you go up on start up and you go into it and something to do with your motherboard i like that. yeah okay i don't really know how to to really um overclock a cpu but overclocking graphics card is very easy literally once you've downloaded this you're one step closer so yeah what you guys want to do download it it should if it's working correctly it will display your graphics card name right here so yeah geforce gtx 1050 ti very good and this is driver version 430.86 so you need to also make sure your graphics card is fully updated to the latest driver that is could be an issue so if i go here if you're on nvidia amd is pretty similar i think you just go into amd radian settings and it will tell you um if it's like the latest driver before your graphics card if you're at nvidia you want to go to the display tray or maybe just here but if you go here to the display tray and do the nvidia geforce experience just click that you guys can search it in as well like um right there it shows it's gonna load up um, let me just quickly minimize this so basically this is just you guys probably do this if you if you have a G geforce uh, nvidia or whatever graphics card you probably are keeping up to date and it should say on your display tray like a little notification here if you need to update it and get the latest driver but what i'm trying to say if you don't have the latest drivers it can cause issues because your pc is behind on everything basically and your graphic card is not ranked to its latest or best ability so um yeah i don't know what there must have been a new update for geforce experience on in general but yeah this isn't anything to do with my driver updating right now this is just a the, the internal geforce experience application updating i think really it's re <laughs> is it really gonna make me wait like this Okay, I'm not waiting. So what I'm gonna do? Okay, it's quite fast. Okay, it's very fast. We'll just wait. Two hours later. <sighs> what the freak? I I'm just gonna leave it. <laughs> I don't know why it's not working. Okay, guys, just that should work. This ain't very good for the video's sake, but you guys, it's quite obvious on how you update your drivers. So yeah, just up update your drivers, guys, and then um yeah, you just need to update your drivers. Keep them updated. Okay, that's all you need to do. You probably are at this point. It's just quite common sense. Go into GeForce Experience. Go into your AMD settings and make sure you have the latest driver for your graphics card installed. All right. All right. So next, what you guys wanna do? It's pretty simple. So just for this purpose the way this can't go wrong
wrong because your PCs may run different. You may have a lower end graphics card, but for the 1050 Ti, which is a pretty low end graphics card, a lot of you guys, I know a lot of you guys for a fact have this graphics card. You want to literally, you'll be fine. You want to use these exact settings. But what you guys can do, um, just to be safe and um, just so, like, what can happen if you over overclock it and do add too much to both of these and like, both of these, that can then put your system under too much pressure and your graphics card is then working too hard to a point where it just bottlenecks and then bottlenecks is just it basically just fucks up not n I, I, family friendly okay it basically just messes up i've already said it i'm probably gonna keep it in anyway but it just messes up and then um your pc will pretty freeze crash or whatever and then your your screen will pretty start glitching out because it's your graphics driver your graphics card and you'll probably have like screen tearing and stuff like that and then your pc will probably need to restart it will just crash itself and so what i'm trying to say if this is ticked right here so if this is like see how i just clicked it and now it's turned off but if this is turned on and is green that isn't good because that means if your pc crashes and you overdo it every time you start up your pc it says here apply overclock and get system start up that means your system is just gonna literally instantly as soon as your pc loads up it's gonna launch this and crash your pc you're gonna be in this endless loop of your pc crashing and you're gonna have to go into your bios and it's not gonna be good Good. it's really not gonna be good so as soon as you download this make sure this is not flashing so make sure there's no green light here so just to click it and it'll be off so the green light indicator is on so yeah just make sure it's off while you're just testing this out so yeah what you guys want to do um for 1050 ti at least and most graphics card this is going to be fine for you guys want to make sure your power limit right here is on 100 so just change that you can click here and type so make sure that is on 100 press enter once you've typed it in make sure that's on yeah 100 percent core voltage don't worry about that you want to worry about the core um the core clock so what you guys want to do uh, the core clock put it on 150 literally you don't want to go any more than that 150 press enter 150 is fine you guys can maybe go more this is you things you can experiment with as long as you have this off here and you can experiment the higher you go the more you get out of your pc the more you get out of your graphics card in general and the higher frames you're gonna get then it could struggle your pc and the pc may crash but it is an issue it, it really isn't an issue but yeah i've experimented with it and anything like if i put this on 250 after like an hour or so my pc will like either crash fortnite or it'll crash in the on the whole and this is another issue it, it may not be causing visually like visually you may not be able to see it's affecting your pc in a bad manner and your graphics card is working too hard but what may happen is you may experience your fortnite game crashing or certain things crashing along the way and that means this is too high so you just want to go back knock it down 50 and then keep knocking it down 50 till you find something you're comfortable with or opposingly just keep going got 50 till you find something you're comfortable with but i think this works fine so just make sure your power limit on, is on 100 and then change this to 150 and then memory clock these are both mega like megahertz by the way and then memory clock you also want to have on 150 so both of these on 150 and then fan speed i've got mine at 70 percent because i make videos and it's obviously in the background i don't want it to be too loud for you guys when you're watching my content but um it really doesn't matter like if you have this on 100 at first it may sound scary because i think it's naturally on about 50 percent so raising it to 100 it's gonna sound scary your pc is gonna get a lot louder your fan is gonna really be loud which may be an issue if you record videos and do streaming or stuff like that that's why i have mine 70 which is a perfect balance and it keeps my pc cool but yeah your pc fans are never working as hard as they can and literally changing this right here it literally makes your fans spin faster and run faster which keeps your pc cooler which is good so the higher you have this the higher you can potentially have this because it's keeping your graphics card cool and you're not gonna have any issues so don't have this low do not have this low at all you really want to way over 60 percent. that's my thing if you do videos 70 percent is fine maybe even 80 percent like if you have a good mic it isn't gonna pick it up I have mine at 70%, it's perfect balance. But then if you want it on 100, have it on 100. If you just play the game and just don't record, don't stream or anything like that, play the game for your own personal use, entertainment, or just competitively, have it on 100. Your PC is going to be as cool as possible. And it's just great. It's just great. Have it on 100. But I have mine at 70 for video purposes. And yeah, basically that's all it. Once you guys have done that, you can press, um, so you click a profile. So I press one, press save. I haven't changed anything, so I'm not going to do it. But yeah, you put one, press save, and then that basically saves it to this profile right here and you have all these different profiles so if i wanted to i could select two and change all these to something different and then these are like different pro like different um ones so yeah you don't even need to mess with that just press click number one press save and then press apply right here and then if you guys like i would say run it for about an hour or maybe an hour or two playing like a game and if you have no issues in terms of your game crashing and your fortnite frames are higher than um, before 
that's great and you've basically you've succeeded already so just press um apply obviously you found out it's all good um and then you guys just want to click this right here apply over and get system start up and then every time your system reboots or you start your pc up this is going to load up and this is going to load like with your pc and also what i need to say is never cross it off here after you finish don't cross it off just minimize it because it doesn't actually like it just like goes here to your um display tray and it's working very like slightly in the background process if you click like completely cross it off right here um that's going to cause an issue and it will just completely close and then you have to restart the whole thing but yeah just minimize it and then it's basically gone like it's nowhere on my my not even on my other monitor and yeah that will always run uh, maybe when you start your pc wait a little bit longer till you see this icon come up into your display tray and that means it's all um optimized your graphics card and overclocked it on the startup so yeah don't just rush into things what let your pc load up give it time to load up this icon right here and that means it's it's then done the overclock and you can happily play but yeah this really does increase fps and it is generally very good like it overclocking your pc is not 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 a hard thing it's not very malicious it depends how you do it but obviously if you are going to crank them up very very high and you know your graphics card isn't that good and you know you haven't got a decent pro processor or a motherboard to back back up like your bad graphics card then there's going to be issues and you, yeah your pc is going to crash and that obviously isn't good so yeah just find what's comfortable all them settings i just shown you there they are generally pretty good so you guys can just use them right there but yeah guys that's the end of the video uh not really much more i have to go through this video i'm as i'm looking right now i'm over the screen it's been 20 minutes long this video is 20 minutes long i'm really going to try and cut it down and make it smaller so it might be about 15 minute long video i hate making long videos like this but i do talk quite a bit i guess it's good because i explain it but i don't even know maybe it's boring for you guys but if you guys did watch to the end you're actually like i i really appreciate you it means a lot you know what you guys can do you guys could drop a like on the video if you watched to the end comment down below for more and just subscribe post notifications on so you guys never miss an upload on my channel but yeah it really does mean a lot and just before this video ends i really just need to say my friend's channel youtube channel i'll just show you now so basically my friend's youtube channel is getting term okay yeah it's already been terminated so my friend has been terminated my friend's youtube channel has been terminated you guys can see right here it said it's been terminated right he had a few strikes on his channel basically they weren't really needed and it was from epic games to be honest um feels bad i guess but yeah he has a youtube channel but he has a youtube channel right here and yeah hateful fortnite um wait okay wait no okay this is the wrong channel someone's took his channel someone's literally covered his name all right guys it's this one right here because he put me here but yeah guys you guys can see right here um this is his new youtube channel he did have like 14,000 subscribers i think on his other one so he had to make a new one so i am subscribed right here hateful fn but yeah if you guys want to really help him out his channel did get taken away he had 14,000 subscribers which is a big number and that is like that's literally like a nightmare thing to happen so you guys could just go and check him out uh maybe drop a like on his new video if you're not even gonna subscribe but you don't you literally his videos are his videos are very good high quality so if you, you guys want you could just go and drop a like on this video like so or you guys could just quickly subscribe to him he'll be linked down below in the description so yeah hateful fn go and check him out drop a sub it's the least you guys can do and it'll really help him out at this point you know i'm just trying to help him out he did not pay me to say that people really think everyone just pays me to say things like no i am his friend and that's just goodwill but yeah guys hope you guys enjoyed the video been your boy farfetch and yeah